Have you heard of all of the benefits of magnesium, but maybe you have no idea where to start? If so, you're not alone. I'm a naturopathic doctor, and when I started diving into the science behind all the different types of magnesium out there, even I felt like I had to go back to biochemistry class. So I thought I'd make today's video about the different types of magnesium that are out there and the pros and the cons of each one, what they're mostly best used for so that hopefully by the end of today's video, you can figure out which one might be best for you. But before we dive into the marvelous world of magnesium, be sure that you're doing your part to support this channel by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified every week when we release our fresh new content into the world. My name is Dr. Brandi Rose Lipscomb and I'm a naturopathic doctor, pain relief expert, and I see patients several days a week here in beautiful Arlington, Washington at a clinic called Essential Wellness. You can find us at essentialwellnessmedicine.com and I also run an online pain relief program called My Pain Eraser and Rapid Recovery where I have the blessed opportunity to teach people all across this country how to utilize dynamic neuromodulation space age pain relief devices that send out parasympathetic shaped impulses and relieve pain just by the right shape and frequency of the waveforms. And I am here today to chat with you about magnesium. So let's dive in. Did you know that magnesium is a cofactor in up to 600 different enzymatic reactions inside your body? It is essential for protein synthesis, for soothing our muscles, for nerve health, for brain health. We use magnesium a billions of times a day, I would imagine and up to 20% of the population is actually deficient in magnesium, especially in teenagers and the elderly and in people who really tend to like white foods, like white bread, white rice, white sugar, white flour, uh, those processed and refined foods have been stripped of all their natural magnesium. How do you know if you're deficient in magnesium? A simple blood test like a serum magnesium is really pretty useless because your kidneys are doing an amazing job of excreting any excess magnesium from your bloodstream at all times. So what we really need to look at if we're gonna do a blood draw and assess magnesium at all is called RBC magnesium, which means it's the magnesium that is inside your red blood cells. Some labs require that this specific test be handled in a specific way as far as the type of tube that's drawn and how it's handled once it's drawn. So if you want your healthcare provider to check your RBC magnesium, make sure you let them know before you go in for a blood draw. Other symptoms of magnesium deficiency can include muscle spasms like cramps in the calves or charley horses of any of the muscles in the body as well as one of my favorite words, blepharospasm. It's that place where your eyelid twitches and you can't control that eyelid twitch. Stress depletes magnesium. So people who are living in a really high state of stress for whatever reason, number one, I'm so sorry. Number two, if you're, get, if you're stressed out and getting that eyelid twitch, you probably need some magnesium. Other symptoms of magnesium deficiency can include nausea, fatigue, weakness, and real severe magnesium deficiency. We can lead into abnormal heart contractility and seizures. Magnesium deficiency is more common in people who are alcoholics, people with Crohn's disease, as well as people with type two diabetes and people on diuretics that are not potassium sparing like Lasix and hydrochlorothiazide. Why those all deplete magnesium is an entirely different class. If any of the above apply to you, you can definitely look for more information on those conditions and how they deplete your magnesium on the web. So maybe you're none of the above, right? Are you taking magnesium? Have you been thinking about taking magnesium but you're not sure which one to take? The rest of this video, we're gonna figure out which ones might be the best for you. And so let's dive in. The first magnesium that I wanna to talk to you about is magnesium bisglycinate. This is the best form of magnesium for helping ensure a restful night of sleep. 
Glycine is a precursor to GABA, GABA aminobutyric acid. GABA is our quieting, calming neurotransmitter that sort of quiets down the brain and helps us focus more. So magnesium bisglycinate can provide more glycine, which can promote more GABA, which can help you feel more relaxed and quiet in the mind. A great one to potentially take if you have trouble sleeping at night because your mind won't turn off. And it has less of a laxative effect than our other forms of magnesium and you can get magnesium bisglycinate in a powder that's kind of sweet and it's a lovely thing to put into a nice cup of night night tea like the uh, kava serenity tea from yogi teas is one of my favorites or you might have your own favorite sleepy time tea that you use on a regular basis put a little dab of magnesium bis bisglycinate in that tea to make your night even more relaxing next Next up on the list is magnesium threonate. This form of magnesium has been chelated to threonic acid and it has actually been shown to cross the blood brain barrier. So anytime someone has issues within the central nervous system, think Alzheimer's, dementia, MS, anything that involves the actual brain itself, if we wanna get that magnesium into the brain, I think about magnesium threonate. It is one of the more expensive forms of magnesium, but in certain conditions, it can really be worth the extra added cost. Next on my list, magnesium chloride. This is a common type of magnesium that is found in electrolyte sport drinks, as well as topical magnesium oil sprays. Did you know that you could get magnesium in a spray? It's actually one of my favorite things to have on hand. And after an intense workout, like a leg day, I'll add some magnesium oil to my moisturizing lotion and apply that to my body before I hobble one out the door to go to work. <laughs> Speaking of sore muscles, we have to mention magnesium malate. This is magnesium that's been bound to malic acid. Malic acid is found in high concentrations in apples, sour fruits, and wine. And it was first thought that this was gonna be the magnesium for fibromyalgia and really getting those muscles to relax because of the, the role that malate plays within the Krebs cycle for energy production. But the research on the magnesium Magnesium malate has not been as fruitful as we would have hoped. So it's one that I consider, but I definitely think that we need some uh, more research on larger numbers of people to really understand the effect of magnesium malate within our bodies. And then there's magnesium torate. Magnesium taurate is magnesium bound to taurine. It's an amino acid that you may have seen in your energy drinks and your workout formulas. Taurine has an anti-inflammatory, neuroprotective, calming effect and is able to cross the blood-brain barrier. So it is definitely one of my favorite forms of magnesium to recommend for my gym rats and those who, who like to, to push their bodies to the limit and, you know, play hard, work hard. Magnesium taurine can have a, a very highly absorbable, rapid acting, calming, protective effect to the muscles, the nerves, and the brain. It has also been shown to have a protective effect on the heart by regulating the osmolality, the, the concentration of, of ions within the, the extracellular, intracellular environment, as well as it's been shown to help keep a blood pressure in a normal range. And the last form of magnesium that I wanna to talk to you about today is magnesium oxide. This is the form of magnesium that gets a really bad rap from a lot of folks out there who say, magnesium oxide is only 4% bioavailable, it's not absorbed. Well, they're not necessarily incorrect, but the study that said it's only 4% absorbed may have been a slightly skewed study. You know, we can all skew results in scientific studies, kind of depending upon Upon the particular outcome that we're looking for. Magnesium oxide has more elemental magnesium per milligram than any other form of magnesium out there. So proponents of magnesium oxide say they like it because you take less capsules in order to have the same effect. 
The other thing that proponents of magnesium oxide say is that it doesn't pass through the small intestine quite as quickly. When we rapidly absorb magnesium into our small intestine and into our bloodstream, our kidneys are there doing that job of filtering the magnesium out of the bloodstream. So when magnesium oxide in a slightly less absorbable state is moving slowly through the small intestine and large intestine, we are able to absorb more of that magnesium because of the slower transit time. That's kind of an interesting thought is that so it's less absorbable, which means I absorb more. <laughs> exactly. You got it. Too many magnesiums to juggle. <laughs> I totally get it. Let me make this a little bit easier on you. There are several brands of magnesium that I really like to use in my professional practice and that you can find access to if you click on the description below and you register to be a part of my online dispensary where you can get a 10% discount off of any and all supplements that you like for the rest of your life. There you can see some of my top picks as well as the supplements we're going to talk about today. The first one that I want to share with you is called Triple Mag. It's a blend of 10% magnesium glycinate, 30% magnesium malate, and 60% magnesium oxide. It's $20 for a bottle through my online dispensary and that includes 45 servings which is 44 cents a day for a well-balanced magnesium that can help with constipation, headaches, muscle soreness, and general muscle aches. Not bad for that price. And here's Trimag from Da Vinci. I like this one for the bodybuilders and those who like to work out more intensely, specifically because it contains a blend of magnesium taurate, glycinate, and malate. Super good for revving up those mitochondria, relaxing the mind and the muscles all at the same time. With the automatic 10% discount that you get through my online dispensary, it's $21 a bottle and provides 30 servings at 70 cents a day. And finally, my favorite for the moment, my all around champion in this world of the best sources of magnesium out there. And I have to say, this is a new company that I've never worked with before and I was kind of surprised by my choice. But here it is, MagTech by Natural Stacks. They're based out of Seattle and their magnesium comes from 1000 milligrams of magtine which they describe as a super mineral version of magnesium L-threonate that was developed by MIT researchers, as well as magnesium glycinate and magnesium taurate. So if you're looking for a product that can calm your nerves, relax your mind, help you sleep more deeply, and revive your muscles as quickly as possible, MagTech by Natural Stacks might be the best choice. At 31 bucks a day for 30 servings, which is three capsules a day, you're looking at about a dollar a day for this product, but that's pretty much a dream compared to multiple trips to massage therapists, acupuncturists, chiropractors, and God knows who else during the week to help you feel sane, healthy, and sleep well. But don't forget the psychotherapist bill, right? And if you just suffer from simple constipation, something like the Philips Milk of Magnesia, which is magnesium hydroxide, or good old magnesium citrate, often 300 milligrams a day of magnesium citrate can really help the bowels move along effectively. And that's about the only use that I would have for magnesium hydroxide or magnesium citrate. That's why they really didn't make the list today. And if you're looking to get your magnesium in your whole foods, here's a list. It includes roasted pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, whole grains like brown rice, which has three times the amount of magnesium compared to white rice, cooked spinach, and nuts like almonds and cashews, as well as dark chocolate and avocados. Make the list of four highest food sources of magnesium that we can consume. Are you wondering which magnesium is right for you? Leave us a comment in the description below and I'll be sure to do my best to point you in the right direction. And are you afraid that whatever's ailing you is gonna take more than a little bottle of magnesium? You owe it to yourself to get into the description and click on that link for the My Pain Eraser and Rapid Recovery Program. Find out why I am happy to tell you that I think it's one of the most advanced 
home-based pain relief and accelerated recovery programs in the United States today. You can find out everything you need to know in the webinar. And be sure that you check out this video over here if you'd like to see some of the other supplements that I often recommend for pain relief. And if you're interested in seeing a demo of how we would treat a bone on bone knee inside the pain eraser program, this is the video for you next. As always, thank you so much for watching and wish you optimal health and happiness and relaxed muscles and a great night's sleep. So thanks for watching and we will see you next time.